Hi there, I'm Jonathan Gustafson, a postdoc research fellow at Rush University Medical Center in Chicago. And I'm also a co-author and co-chair of the Meet the First Author Committee at Hubble. Uh, welcome to all the Hubble audience. I'm here joined by Kai Chang, who uh, is just a recent graduate of the PhD program in the Civil and Material Department, uh, Engineering Department of UIC, yeah. uh, University of Illinois at Chicago. So Kai, thank you for joining me. How are you doing today? Yeah, they're good. They're good. Feel good you. now that you've graduated? <laughs> so, so we're here today to talk about the ORS 2020 meeting reports. We just got back from Phoenix. Uh, yeah. Kai, could you tell us a little bit about what you presented? Yeah, sure. Um, so in this year's ORS, we tried to propose another, well, maybe it's another new material, but we use a different way to fabricate it. So they can make uh, easily to, um, how should I put it? Mass produce it okay. uh, in, compared to other methods, okay. and thus the material can increase the OCO integration. So that's kind of our proposal. We try to propose this material on the titanium alloy, okay. to you know, on the hip stand or dental implants. Yeah, so, excellent. Yeah. So this is a material that's meant to interface within current implants yeah. to promote osteointegration, exactly. better bone growth and yeah. fixation so that yeah. there's less incidences of implant loosening. Yeah, excellent. Uh, yeah. So what was the major finding of what you presented at so, ORS? Uh, in the major finding that we did two different experiments, one is the mineralization. So basically we uh, incubated the cells and our samples in the simulated body fluid and then uh, we cultured for several uh, days, you know, okay. 7, 21, uh, 7, 14, 21 days. Okay. And then we, afterwards, we uh, using some, uh, al al AC, some type of special AC to okay. uh, dye the surface. If there's calcium on the surface, we can see it become red. Okay. And then uh, we can quantify the, the uh, absorbance by some specific uh, equipment, and then we find how much calcium on the surface. Perfect. And then on the other hand, we can also examine the surface by SEM. So that's a more direct finding. You know, we find some particles. Right. We do EDS on it. We can see uh, how much calcium, how much phosphor on the surface, okay. and then depends on the ratio. We can see uh, is it this. Uh, calcium phosphate, or is it you know, what kind of uh, uh, chemical it is? Right. So actually, all things uh, come out quite uh, how should I put it? Uh, more com very consistent. So uh, uh, after our treatment, we see more calcium uh, deposit on the surface. So which that's a good finding. And then we go ahead to see. Okay, does this calcium really come from cell or not? Okay. So we, in that case, we uh, analyze more on cells. So we uh, culture the cells on the sample surface for uh, seven and 14 days, and then we extract the mRNA from the cells, and then we do the reverse transcribe to make okay. it into back to cDNA, and we do the PCR, okay. uh, polymerase chain reaction, okay. to amplify the, the gene expression. Yeah, so uh, in that case, we select uh, four different genes which are very related to osteointegrations, so uh, from our finding that after 14 days incubation, we see all uh, four genes have higher uh, gene expressions than uh, our control group, in the 6 4 al alloy, uh, 6 alumina 4 vanadium alloy, right. which is usually used for, for uh, in implants. Yeah, yeah, implants by material. And so that was your control and you found that essentially your new material has higher uh, expression. Yeah. A higher expression, so therefore Genes. indicating some higher yeah. and better osteointegration. Great. Yeah. Um, so what's kind of the next step for you? So you just finished your PhD. Yeah, uh, of course, uh, we, we try to, um, I try to find a job. You know, <laughs> of course. In ORS, we have a little uh, you know, short networking uh -huh. and uh, find, try to find well, what's the next step? Okay. Uh, for the current project, we also would like to um, push a little bit more, but not sure if it's going to happen or not. That uh, the testing we do is only for in vitro. Sure. Of course, we want to push it into in vivo and see is it really better or not. So I think that will be make the the, the research more complete. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So I think that's the next step. Perfect. Well, best of luck to you, obviously. You. Congrats again on finishing your PhD and congrats you. on presenting at the ORS in Phoenix 2020. <laughs> so appreciate you joining Hubble today and sure. thank you very much. Sure.